All right, welcome to another man's point of view. Today we have a sad one. Um, I've never been good with uh, this type of stuff because it's the be all end all. But I wanted to do this video because, um, well, the Green Ranger or the Power Rangers itself, you know, I, I've always liked it. You know, you could tell by my mask. I mean. Not my uh, my mask, uh, having been influenced by Power Rangers or anything like that. But I like stuff like this, right? Like this, you know, badass stuff that I just like, right? And I'm into all that stuff. But that's not the point. That's not here or there. So I'm gonna play this because uh, I don't have words for it. But I'm gonna show you what they are not gonna tell you. Right when you actually see it through a man's point of view, and this is specifically uh, some of the stuff that is at the core of all the stuff that I'm trying to teach and prevent and show uh, you, even though it's you know taboo subjects. So I just go uh, go ahead and let's play it and let's see uh, what I'm talking about. Actor and martial artist Jason David Frank, who's probably best known for being one of the stars of the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, has died at the age of just 49. Frank played the Green Ranger on the 1990s TV show, which depicted five teenagers that were tasked with saving the Earth from evil. Now, although originally intended just to be a short-term role, Frank's character was so popular, in fact, that he was brought back permanently as the White Ranger and then made the leader of the team. While Frank's cause of death has not been confirmed at this point, some reports indicate that he may have taken his own life. He's survived by four children. Well, there you go. Now, Space Luchador, why are you talking about this? Well, I'm talking about this because what they don't tell you is why maybe, right? Because obviously it's speculation, but I have a theory um, apparently, he was getting a divorce or had just gotten a divorce. Now, why is this irrelevant? Well, because I always talk about the force-fed red pill, right? Now, I'm not necessarily saying that he is a weak man, but um, this is relevant to some of the videos i just recently been doing, um, talking about strength. Right. Now, a lot of people don't talk. As a matter of fact, I don't think anybody talks about it. So you're going to hear it again first here, right? There is a bunch of levels of strength, which is what I'm always talking about, right? Like levels to this. Right? There's physical strength. There is mental strength. And then there's emotional strength. Now, the emotional is what everybody seems to not, one, not understand, maybe because they don't believe it, or it's something internal, so nobody really wants to talk about it, right? And it is uh, um, something you can't really attack, right? It's like, if you can't see it, right? So it's almost like it's not um, non-existent. Sorry about that. But, um... All right, so almost like it's not insistent, right? So I'm going to show you something relevant that I was going to talk about completely, um, which is this video here, but I'm going to do that on the next one. So I'm going to go back to um, the Green Ranger here. So here is basically how I'm going to explain it, all right? Here's my theory, because obviously there is no nothing but rumors, right? So he was going through divorce, and this is him, I guess, before, right before he did it or something like that. And um, I want you to understand, this is the reason, right, that I do the videos, right? It's a little thing called force-fed red pill. And I'm trying to make men man up, right, become strong within sight of you, right? Because the hidden demons are the ones that take you out, right? Because you've lost control. All right, so 
Um, let me show you. Uh, there's a couple things that he says, which are very telling, right? A long time no see, my friends. Let's wait until people tune in here a little bit. Welcome to Jason David Frank's Facebook Live. Well, Jason David Frank's official Facebook Live. Let's see what we got going on here, guys. It's uh, been a journey. I tell you what, the last seven days, life changing journey. But I made it, nevertheless. I so you could see immediately that he is emotionally disturbed. He's been force fed red pill, right? Now I'm not blaming the women. I'm not blaming the situation, right? I'm just showing you the matrix, right? Now I know this is really hard because this is a touchy subject, right? But I'm gonna explain it to you like this. Straight up mansplain it, right? You ain't gonna hear None of that, well, I, I wish, uh, you know, my condol. none of that stuff because I don't know the guy, right? And I'm not like that. Like I said, there's no nothing I can say that can fix what has happened. But I can, you know, commentate on the situation. Uh, so the situation is, is pretty, you know, we got the Green Ranger, arguably um, one of the, he he was tagged as the greatest Power Ranger ever, right? Arguably. Um, then he went on to turn, become the White Ranger, who, again, arguably, um, is tagged as another of the greatest Power Rangers ever. Then he went on, three, got three transformations, um, to become Lord... Dracon, or Drac Dracon, right? So, he also did MMA in real life. So you got, you got, uh, you've become this thing, right? That ultimately you cannot live up to, which is the point what I'm trying to explain here, right? Because he is the actor. He was not the Power Ranger. However, he lived it, right? All the way up to this point. And this is the point. Right? So what happens is, whatever is happening in mental health and all that stuff, is that he actually tried, from looking at his career, he actually tried to live it. Now I know a thing or two about this because I'm living it right now. Right? This is me. This is the space. Luchador, this is me. All me. I have no stunt double, never have, never will, right? So, I know a thing or two about that, how that feels and stuff like that, right? So, you know, I don't have that perspective. Well, I do because I've been in, in that situation, right, where, I'll give you an example, right? I've, I've done uh, media here and there, right, a couple of recordings, right, recording studios and did a couple of commercials here and there. And, well, as they say, you know, in show business, all that stuff, right, behind the scenes and all that, you have all sorts of fucking, like, 20 people to do one shot or whatever, right? Anybody's ever been in a cinema, in the movie industry, right? Yeah, there's stunt doubles and stuff like that. That's the people that actually do the stuff that you see on camera. As for me, being a professional wrestler... I don't need no stunt double, and I'm never gonna need a stunt, you know, a stunt double. As a matter of fact, I don't want one. Right? So if that's me, that's really me. Right? There is no stunt double for the space. Lucha, that's me. This is it, right? So in his case, and this is just my theory, right? He's trying to live up to it so much that he went to MMA. He tried to actually fight and do the karate and all that stuff. In real life, and I guess he was a little bit successful. I didn't really follow the MMA career, but he went on to do uh, more and more. He was just a 
about to come out with his new movie, uh, The Legend of the Green Dragon or something like that, White Dragon, which was he was he was promoting here. And then force fed red pill, which is the theory, right? He had to he went through the divorce. Now no one knows the details, but you can see that he's going through changes, which is the point. Right? Going through changes, big time changes. But here's the thing, and this is what I want you to take out of this video, right? Um, and it's hard to explain, but I'm going to try my damnedest to do it. So, um, never been done before, by the way. Um, so, here's the thing. When you, um, you know, the, the lifespan, right, of a, of a man, right, certain levels, or you, shouldn't, you have a certain time limit to get to a certain stage. Right, in uh, successful in life, right? But right now, as we have it today, right, success is measured by wealth, by money, right? How famous you are, how much money you got. If you are shot from the very beginning, boom, to the very top, right? You don't never have the struggle. You never have the actual real struggle right so you never really fall you're always like on a net now you can see this by child above right his case there's all sorts of cases but in this case right he uh apparently did he he was 49 some uh the report said um basically going on 50 right so you're halfway if we're doing the math right of your of a lifespan if you're lucky so, then he gets hit with this, uh, you know, the force fed red pill. In this case, a divorce with a woman, which what makes it, all this irrelevant. And again, I'm not blaming the woman at all. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is the blow, right? Yeah, his life is now changed because while well, he has all this stuff, right? The Power Rangers, he's got the Power Rangers, right? He's got the the legend. Of what he is, or was, you know, this this is this is like badass stuff. This is who he is, right? But despite all that, for a woman to tell you, "I don't want you anymore," despite all this shit that you have, this is what happens when you build a pillar out of sand. Now, what do I mean by that? Well. Not necessarily bad to build the pillar out of sand, but rather that you build it so high and somehow, you know, you do it with some balance, right? And um, it's so high that it takes you to a certain level. However, you forgot it was built out of sand. So when you build it out of sand, right, and you're really, really high, it's bound to fall because you built it out of sand. However, it's how high you built it that determines the fucking fall, right? From grace, as they say. So here we, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna forward a little too, cause he uh, most of the video he's promoting his where he's going, his tour, all that stuff, right? Let me go. Here we go. Let's see if if what I'm saying makes sense and you understand what I'm saying. So I'm trying to use this video here. Let me see who's in there. Okay. I love training. I'm getting back to martial arts full time when I get back. It's been a part of my life. It's the yin and the yang. Um, there's a lot of changes that I'm making uh, mentally to get my mental health back on track. Um, and I ain't afraid to say it. That's why you go read, go go watch my poetry. It costs me money to create poetry. I'm JDFFFN. I don't make money on that. It costs me money to let, let you know and let me know we're all the same. I'm no different than you. I'm just a guy who likes making movies. I ain't a celebrity. I'm you. And we all bleed the same. We all have a heart. You heard that? And that's the point. That's where you can catch it. And this is what I talk about. The Matrix, as you see up there. He said, I'm just like you. I bleed like everyone else. Basically, 
he's been humbled, right? In his own mind. He's been humbled. And now he thinks that he has to do all these changes, right? However, you know, I could see from the video he wasn't handling it that well. Um, he did a lot of change. Like, uh, apparently he cut his own hair, right? He, you go deep, and this is the classic uh, when you have a breakup, uh, the classic you do you or whatever, work on yourself, which is one of the biggest um, advices, right? Get better, go train, all that stuff. But you could see the actual problem was not addressed, which is that he now thinks he's mortal after being what you could see there on the right um he was the green ranger right white tiger ranger too and lord dragon all that stuff and he was brought down to i can bleed now what i've said before about uh women is your tears they might as well be blood in their eyes right that's it. And they're the shark. And they will not hold back. They do not have no pity. Right? There is no remorse. There ain't none of that. Now, again, I'm not blaming the girl. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just showing you all the stuff that I'm talking about. Right? That's why this is irrelevant. Right? But apparently, again, um, he took his own life. For where he had his reason, whatever it was, right? But I want to show you the pr the process, which is sucks that I'm using this example, but this has just recently happened, and no one's talking about it. It's just kind of one of those things of like you know, um, like the classic or everything. There's like drug use and stuff, which might be, but remember, the drugs open your uh, mind, right? That's why we say think outside the box, but what drugs do is open up a box or a can of worms that you ain't ready for, which you cannot handle, right? Because you ain't all there when you're doing it. That's what drugs do, right? Now, not that I would know, right? Because I don't take no damn drugs, but, you know, from what I've, um, <laughs> from what I've seen, that's, uh, that's what, you know, a touchy subject, you know, that's what it, it is. It is what it is, right? Ain't gonna get into that uh, fake stuff here. It's a straight up raw. So, so let's see what else he has to say, and I'll show you how that's my hunch, which is what what happened, right? Force fed red pill. Now he sees it's the end of the world in his mind. Keep in mind, right? Because his woman, that's basically you know the the woman that loved him through all this stuff that he's been living, right? Now he sees, he, he's like hit the wall, right? This is the version of, of a man hitting the wall or hitting rock bottom. Um, which again, if you don't have that experience in, in life, right? Because, and that's why I use the pillar of sand, right? Because you have to, you could train your pillar. Let me explain it like this, right? You can build a pillar, the beauty of the sand pillar, right, is that it collapses under its own weight, right? But if you build it small enough, right, like little, like almost like micro dosing, right, um, and it falls, if you fall when it's not too high, right, then you don't hurt yourself, right? Yeah, you, it hurts, right, because you fell, but it ain't so high that you ain't going to be like, well, I lost it all, no. That's why the higher you are, the harder you fall, right? It's like you can survive a uh, one-story fall or break a leg or something, but try to survive a three-story fall. You can't, and that's the point, right? Especially if you've never gone through it, right? It's one of those things. That's why we say practice, practice, practice. Got to be able to take an L. Now, this is an ultimate L in his eyes, and... um. Well, let's see what else he has to say, right? And um, No disrespect again. Um, I know it's this touchy subject. You usually get all the, you know, condolences and all that stuff. But again, it's like, I've never been good at that. And I probably never will because 
I don't believe in any of that stuff. The condolences part, like, there's nothing you can say. Nothing I can say that's going to make the situation better. That's my point. All right, so uh, let's see what he's got to say. Give, and you will receive. Do not give because you want something. It's wrong. I like helping people. You heard that? That's one of my models. Do not give asking or uh, wanting to receive something back. You just give it. Now, again, I'm telling you all the signs are right there. All of them. You can see by what he's saying. Because he was going, that's the path you all, all guys take when they get the force-fed red pill. And um, it's just a matter of how you handle it. All right, but uh, let's continue. Going on tour, paying my own way, making my own way, doing my own thing, signing for the shops, leaving thousands of, th thousands of dollars behind. I've left over probably six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollars in merchandise behind. I've signed hundreds and hundreds of thousands of autographs and left little promo cards and signed left behind because it's about you guys. We're treating it just like a con. You can bring your stuff, you can get it signed, but there's no entry fee. There's no traveling. There's no waiting. I've never done GameStop before ever in my entire life. So let's make GameStop big. And the Oh, yeah. It's another thing. Uh, desperate times call for desperate measures. Now, why do I say this? Because he's talking about the GameStop. Now he's going to do GameStop. He's saying he's never done it before, meaning he's never subjugated himself to that level. Now, I'm not saying GameStop's not a big deal, but from a guy that was always at the top to end up at the GameStop level, where, like, I'm just going to do an appearance at the GameStop, right, now it's become work. Because, again, it's not something you really want to do. It's more of like, well, yeah, now, now I'm doing GameStop, and, well, you know, it's like at this stage, <laughs> right, at this stage of his life, he wasn't ready for this, right? He never saw himself needing to do this, right? You can see it. Like, I can see it in his voice. He's saying, right? Again, I'm not saying GameStop is bad or anything, but you become, like, it's almost like a voice actor now, right? Doing little appearances here and there, which is, again, when you're at the very top, you think that's low, low-level stuff. But you got to understand... Right, you you have to be again to be able to take an L. Can you take it? Which is what I want to um, basically all you guys out there in TV land to learn on this one, right? Because it is sad news. And never, uh, anything involving death um, is sad, you know, it's a loss of life, especially uh, uh, under your own hands. You know, you got to understand like. A lot of people think that when you take your, your life or something like that, people that do that, you, you do need bear of a lot of balls. But remember, sometimes it's not balls. It's it's literally that somehow they're convinced that death is better than going through the waking up process of the force-fed red pill, which is, you know... Which is amazing to me because I, you know, I see, I see it, you know, I see it in a lot of guys. Somehow they, 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 they don't fear death because they fear whatever it is they've been uh, destroyed within their own world inside their head, right? They've lost it all that they would rather no longer exist. That is crazy, man. And, I, and I'll talk about that. In other videos, because you know, touchy subject, and again, that's next level shit. And um, but it is what it is, you know, it is what it is. So I'm showing you the the, the baby steps for now. Right? Let's uh, let's continue and see what this guy say. The reason why I do them in a smaller area, it's kind of like the movie Catch Me While You Can. There's a lot of people that are working that can't make it. They can make it the next day. I'm gonna read the list one more time. Toy Vault, Toy Vault today, Darth Mouth. Uh, <laughs> 6 to 4 p.m. GameStop, 4 p.m. tomorrow. Braintree, Massachusetts. Get a ticket right now. Call them. GameStop, it's just a number ticket. GameStop, Chelsea, 4 p.m. on Friday. 
Saturday, GameStop, 12 p.m., Lowell, Massachusetts. The 10th, GameStop, Sunday, Worcester, 12 p.m. 11th, GameStop, 4 p.m., Cranston. I believe that's Rhode Island. I'm not too sure. Uh, the 13th, this is Eastside Magazine, New Jersey, Montclair. Now, uh, everything besides the 13th is sponsored by Rhode Island Comic Con. Steve, thank you. It's a big sponsor and a big shout-out to Rhode Island Comic Con. I will be there. Rhode Island Comic Con holds a special place in my heart. That's where I flew to go see my mom for the last three days of her, um, of her cancer. She didn't survive, but I know she's up there watching. Everyone who lost someone, they're up there watching. They're guiding. Um, they're going to be guarding angels that you don't see. Um, guarding angels that you might not feel. Faith that you don't see because you don't see it because we don't lean on it. But if we lean on it, lean on, <laughs> lean on it, we might fall. But as we fall, someone's going to pick us back up. It's faith, right? And you got to believe in it, man. And and there's so I'm I'm so busy all the time. Pop 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 pop. You see, and and that's that's what makes it so hard. You can see how he's popping in and out, right? And again, I don't claim to be no um. What is that? Uh, an, an analysis expert, but you can see in and out, death, relation, help, all these cues that I see so clearly. Because again, I see the man's point of view. Now I'm not using this as a promotion or for me to get any gain, right? But I'm uh, just an example. So it's a perfect example, sad example, but it is again very telling, right? Of all the stuff that I talk about. You can see it here. right? I don't know if we should be going. Any more. Than we need to here. But, but there it is. Um, he, he was dealt. With a bad hand. At a stage in his life. When, because he never thought. This was ever going to happen. Which is the point. Right. And that I'm trying to explain. is When you don't expect it. So you hear a lot of guys always say. Well I. Not me, right? It can't happen to me, right? Nah, I'm the best, right? I'm up here in the highest pillar, and that is a mistake. To think that you're somehow special, that you cannot be taken down, right? Is a thing, a thing that actually makes you, the part of the reason it falls in the first place, right? Because you were so, Arrogant. Now, I'm not saying he was arrogant, but I'm saying you were so arrogant that you were blind to the attacks. And that's just raw truth. There you go. So, um, that, that is, there's not much more to say. I mean, I could go on and on, but there it is, right? Well, uh, I was looking forward to the, the Legend of the White Dragon. Because I like uh, legacy stuff, right? The original stuff of uh, Power Rangers and stuff like that. They might still um, take it out, you know. Business, as they say, show, the show must go on, right? Um, but there it is, right? The force-fed red pill. He uh, got divorced. Pretty sure, you know, anybody knows anything about divorce. It's a hard thing, hard pill to swallow not necessarily the work that goes involved or the pillage of your shit right the stuff you got to pay and the legal all that stuff it's not necessarily that people don't ever see the pillage of your heart right because it's something that is nowadays especially something to think that it's like an illusion it's like non-existent anymore right but there it is so again if you like this video give me a like if uh, you really want to help me out, subscribe, share, right? And um, comment down below. Maybe I missed something. This is what I know right now um, that happened in his divorce, right? Might be off here and there with a cute few details, but uh, yeah, the writing's on the wall, like I say. So you got to be strong at all levels, right? Mentally, physically. And emotionally. Right? So, take the L's. The small little L's make you strong. As they say, what doesn't kill you, make you stronger.
That is the only way. So I'll see you on the next video of the man's point of view.